Yeehaw! And welcome back to Redneck Sack and Fear Reviews. I know, I know, I'm behind on this one, but it's all good. We're making a unique twist on this because everyone has a different Mr. Beast Burger. So, and everyone has a different experience. So I just wanted to go through the details, not just the burger. We'll review the burger and talk about all that. But we'll talk about the backstory of everything that went down today. Because the last time I went to Mr. Beast Burger, I ordered it ahead of time. And I had a very troubling experience that made me late and I paid the driver more tip. Um, but now I can just show up late and it's fine because you can pick it up at certain locations. But you have to go through the Mr. Beast app. So that's just something to know for sure. But if you do pick up, if they, if it's available at your Mr. Beast, it will tell you what location does it. And so today I found out what location for me does it. And we'll go through that. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe. Yes, I would love new subscribers. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. So yeah, um, the new Green Burger, limited time only. I don't know how long they'll have it, but Mr. Beast staying around, at least for now. Um, those kitchens seem to be a huge trend, and I'm enjoying like watching it all unfold. You know, it's quite spicy, quite uh, fun to watch. So I'm excited. I'm happy to review this. I will not be eating the whole burger because I'm going to try Guy Fieri's. Uh, however you pronounce his name's ghost kitchen which is here and i think it's in the same location as what i heard from a subscriber so it would be the same place that i got this from and you'll be you'll be just wowed to know what it is but yeah let's go ahead show this burger off and uh start eating it this is the dream burger mm. maybe like that no i just don't like the sun my ear but That's what you got. So basically, it's a cheeseburger with lettuce, I guess tomato, maybe not any tomato, but it's got bacon, avocado. It's supposed to have two smashed burger patties. It's pretty big size. The bun's at least very big. Um, but last time I had a burger here, it's been a while, the bun was different. It's like the ghost kitchens are not always quite consistent with their product, but it's okay. And I think when I went, that first weekend i think they were running out of supplies and just getting what they could get from places uh outside of there so it might have messed it up a little bit but um you know it is what it is and you you'll kind of like understand like how big of a mess this was um it was i believe it was all i think that i'm not sure that you could pick it up i believe it was delivery only i'm not sure if mr beast had an app for it just yet but it was a hell of an experience. And that's kind of why I'm glad I was not here when the Dream Burger came out. Because I know there had to be a nightmare again. I know it had to be a nightmare. Now, maybe doing pickup would have made it not as bad. But anything Mr. Beast is just going to it's gonna go boom. So, I'm intrigued to see what happens in the future. If there's going to be more new items or what. But I know you came here to watch me eat this sandwich. So, we're going to go do that. And then... I'll talk about some more backstory. So here we go. Mm. Mm. That's actually really good. Um, you got these nice beef patties. You got the avocado. The bacon isn't extremely flavorful, but it's there. Mm. The cheese is nice and hot. Just makes for a good burger. We got pickles too. But if you're not like a greasy burger fan, this might be for you because it's not very greasy. Mm. So I don't want to eat this whole thing because I got to eat some more food. Um. But it's pretty daggone good. Like, even the avocado tastes like it's pretty genuine. Like, it's not some cheap stuff 
that you get from somewhere. Of course, it's not the highest quality stuff, but it's actually, you know, a pretty daggone good tasting burger. Something I would definitely recommend for sure. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, uh, and I'll give that, I'll give it an eight. It was good. I, it doesn't make me fall in love or anything, but it was definitely worth trying. Um, it's about, you pay $10 through the app, so a little pricey, but, you know, you got avocado on it, so you get what you pay for. Anyways, um, so opinion, uh, pretty good size, nice fresh ingredients, and I'll give it an 8. It wasn't, like, extremely, like, hot or fresh or anything, but it tastes good. The ingredients were good. It definitely gets an 8 from me. Um, but, yeah, backstory time. Um, last time I came in, it wasn't such a mess. What was a mess was I kind of like, I hit, I hit, well, I didn't hit anything, but, you know, I just got distracted and, uh, and so I, I was late. But anyways, um, that's, that's aside from the point. So this time, made it on time and everything, but where is my mr beast burger located it's in a restaurant called bravo italiano gucciana so it's basically an italian restaurant i walk up in this thing it ain't no it ain't just an italian restaurant this place is fancy it's a fancy and i think it's a chain but it's a fancy italian restaurant chain mm. Making burgers and fries. When do they have time? Where do they got room in this daggone building? It's a big building, so I assume that's it. But, like, what is going on? Why? <laughs> Why? Why is an Italian place making a burger for me? And it doesn't have any business being good, but it's good. I should have asked some questions, but I was like, I'm not dressed nice. I'm not. I see I'm not staying here to ask them a bunch of questions and waste their time they want my money and we ain't gonna take their time by asking them dumb questions so we didn't ask them any questions but I thought that was cool I thought it was also cool now that I could pick up Mr. Beast instead of driving out here sitting in a parking lot for who knows how long and waiting one so that's another cool thing but yeah just like I thought it was just a, a cool experience, and now I know what all those DoorDash folks, where they were sitting, what they had to do. They had to go over there and just, oh, they probably had to sit outside on a cold day too, but it, it was big enough to hold all of them if that was the case, but I don't know if the restaurant was open or what at that point, but Mr. Beast Burger, and apparently Guy Friari's burgers are made in there so i'm just very intrigued to know where all this room is if it's all made under the same thing like what's going on here um i'm gonna see if i can if there's an app for guy fiore and if i can just um order it that way but um i might have to get it delivered and you know what i've been doing i go to virginia beach because i'm not from here i go park at the taco bell <laughs> And that's how I get it delivered. Easy as that. I mean, it's, it's nothing wild, nothing crazy, but it's smart. I mean, don't you think it's smart to go to a fast food restaurant, sit in the parking lot, where, and, and you got the address, and tell them, hey, I'm in this car. I mean, if you don't live here, you don't live here. And, and you can't pick it up, you can't pick it up. So, and then if it's like a ghost restaurant, you, you, and you can't really, you know... I, that's the problem. I couldn't really find out where this place was. There's nowhere really to park there. So I'm in a public parking lot. And so that's like hard to tell them. So it's like Taco Bell's right there. So I was like, okay. It won't take but so long. They just drive down the road bring it to me. So I might be doing that with Guy Fiore. I will probably... I think I'm going to review it. I think I'm going to do that. Just post it at some point. Um, but yeah, that'll add to my burger and chicken rankings and i'm um, pretty excited i hope you are um i 
if you want me to review fat burger i there's a new fat burger location coming i think i'm gonna do it because no one in virginia's really been or you know it's never been in virginia so i might just review it for you guys so y'all know if y'all want to go i mean a lot of virginians follow me and a lot of 757 people follow me so i I, I will give you good advice on if you want to go to Fat Burger when it opens. They keep pushing it back. It said May 17th. Now it says May 31st. I'm going to go check that again, but I'm excited. I, I need to probably just run by there just to make sure that it's actually happening. Because I don't know. If it's not, I will be devastated because I was just in Cali where I could have had Fat Burger. But I was like, I can wait. Because it says we're getting one. So anyways, uh, you know, it, I don't know how I feel about being back in 757. I really don't. We'll see. We'll see what the long-term implications here are. But yeah, I mean, I have a dream. Just like this dream burger. And so we'll see if those dreams come true. But yeah, uh, this burger might not be a dream come true to me. But it was good. So... I don't know. Up to you. Do you want a burger with avocados on it? Do you like Mr. Beast Burger? Have you been? All the questions that I need you to answer. But yeah, you can pick it up now. You don't have to be like me and go to Taco Bell and just sit there. So you don't have to live in Virginia Beach. You can just pick it up. So that's pretty cool. And now I know where to where, where it is. So I might be coming back at some point. Especially if they release something new. Anyways, that's my review. I could talk forever and ever, but you know you don't want to listen to me. So that's all I got for today, and I will see y'all around. Yeah, yeah.